This solo exhibition came about as a result of a friend recommending a location to me, the Prime Restaurant in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. It's been around for about 20 years, and the owner has been a really great advocate of the arts, and I'm very appreciative of what they've done, and it provided a really great forum for me to present my work. This triptych here is my first attempt at actually creating a three-part painting meant to be seen together. It's a rel relatively larger piece, and the side panels were the very last things to come about. And the painting you see on the far right was created a little bit later, but about the same time frame. But this was a really interesting project to work on, and having the wall space to present it was a really great luxury, so it could be seen as it was intended. This piece here is a cactus that was considered iconic by Robert Pala. And there we go back to the uh, three-part painting. You can see the interior of the restaurant. And I'll get back to that cactus painting in a little bit. But here's the actual interior. Really nice, clean interior, great lighting, very dramatic. And the food here is absolutely superb, if I haven't mentioned that already. And here we go, kind of another roundabout situation. The walls were empty, and here are some paintings that go from the past to the present. There it is, the cactus painting that was at the Herberger Museum in downtown Phoenix. And this is a woven painting that you see coming up where each square was individually painted after it was woven. So it wasn't painted and woven together, it was woven and then painted. This painting is unusual. It's my Diebenkorn inspired painting. If you look at the top, it curves and comes to a point, and there's a slight bend in the middle, which makes it a really unique canvas in that respect. This one is called Solitude, which where the ends of the canvas kind of warp a little bit. And now we're back to my triptych, which again is one of my pride and joys to see it presented as it was intended with enough wall space so the piece could breathe. So it was really great seeing it on a white wall with the theatrical lighting. And this setting is just absolutely perfect for it because it was inspired by Asian art. This is the painting I saw before, the Deep and Corn inspired painting that presented a different way of making brush strokes, a different way of applying paint. So I did a lot of things in this painting that I normally don't do or have never done before with the brush strokes. So it was a real growth experience. And funny enough, the canvas, when it was stretched, wasn't really what the person had in mind, but I loved it anyway. This is the cactus painting that I really felt was, like Robert Pella had said, an iconic painting. And there was a thicker, deeper painting underneath, but I kept removing it, removing it, and this is what was left. So it's kind of one of my favorite paintings. And it was actually damaged, repaired, and put on exhibition. And I love the scar, but you can barely see it. There's the uh, woven painting. I call it woven because it's like the woven fabric of one's life. And it was painted, gessoed, and then each square painted after it was woven together. So it's a unique painting in that respect where each strip comes together. And, of course, my three-part triptych painting. And they, it can be sold or seen as separate parts or together, so they don't have to be together. I envisioned it as being very separate. You can see my work at www.bearmanart.com or you can email me at kurt at bearmanart.com and these pieces are for sale and so please support the arts and if you want to make a donation I'd appreciate that too it's rather difficult sometimes making art in Phoenix so thank you for viewing this video and please share this video with other people thank you very much